Hey. You know, the thing about turning 14, it's like I'm a man now. Oh, yeah? In what country? Where are your parents taking you this year, Jimmy? Actually, my mom's cooking. Now, is this for real cooking, or let's order a pizza cooking? For real cooking. Lobster, for you, me, and Dad. You mean we're actually going to have dinner with your parents at your house? I don't believe it. Lobster's no big deal. You just throw them in a pot. Then they die, slowly screaming. Thanks for sharing. I'll catch you later. What? You hate Lobster? You hate his parents? I don't hate anybody. At least it's not at my house. He has had dinner with us eight days in a row. I know, poor me, my boyfriend and my parents actually get along. Yes, that must really suck. It's just, I already have a pseudo brother. I don't need another one. Vibrate on your Richter scale. <laughs> Why did that sound so gross? Jimmy, come on, we're kind of in the middle of this. Go play football. You don't want to hear this stuff. It's stupid. Hey, Jimmy, you coming or what? Pass a chance to hear my girls in her thoughts. Are you kidding me? So you want to hang out with Mr. Wright tonight? Tonight? I uh, can't. Terry's coming over. Girls' night. We talked about it yesterday, remember? Girls' night, huh? That's cool. I found the coolest site yesterday. It shows how the positions of the stars affect your personality. Yeah, that's called astrology. Cool. I'm a Leo. What does it say about me? Manny, how many moons on Jupiter? I don't know. A lot. Now, read mine. Thirteen. And which planets have rings? Okay. I need your date of birth and your place of birth. Well, I was born in Manila. Hello? The test is on astronomy, not astrology. Okay, now I need your birth date. Doesn't anyone care that we have a science quiz in, oh, 15 minutes? August 15, 1989. <sighs> blah, blah, blah! I can't even think! Are you coming? I saw that! I failed. I totally failed. And you studied all last night. Yeah, but I was counting on having this morning to refresh. Wow, maybe you're a workaholic. I am not a workaholic. Some of us want to make it to university. I want a career in something other than horoscopes. I'm so behind in Quan's class, I should spend the night catching up. Yeah, me too, Tara. But not tonight. Tonight's all about having Leave it alone for a bit. Don't suffocate me. It'll come to you. Hey. Hey. Just pretend I'm not even here. Ugh, so much for girls, mate. Pretend he's not here. He is here. Hi, girls. Hi, Mom. Oh, Terry, I almost forgot you're staying for dinner. Um, we have enough, don't we? <laughs> yeah, even though Jimmy eats like a horse. Mom. No, it's okay, we have enough. <sighs> Jimmy is not staying for dinner. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna go, you know. Okay. What's going on? Nothing. I'm just, I'm sick of him eating here every night. Well, we don't have to invite him. But I just feel bad for the kid. He's always alone. I wonder about his parents sometimes. Hey, Kate, can Jimmy stay for dinner? You said you'd have enough food. Well, um, just never mind. Just forget about it. It's fine. Laura, please. You know, we're born alone. We die alone. We don't want to live our life alone. Jack, our love can't save us now. It's too late. Come on, love is everything. We, we've got it. We've got it right in our hands. The clothes we wear, the cars Emma, we drive, mind everything. taking out the garbage? Honey, what's wrong? Nothing. What will I say to everyone? And what about my daughter? Em, those shows are designed to upset people. It's just that we're so small and the universe is so massive. We're just little specks floating. Alone. Uh-oh. Solar system anxiety. I remember it well. Big, huge universe. Tiny little me. What's the point? You can't beat it. But you can shop. I did well this week. Let's go spend my tips. It's called retail therapy. I like retail therapy, and I love my new sweater. It'll go with everything. My little blue skirt, my blue chinos, my jeans. Ooh, I'd like a lick of that. Excuse me? I'd like a lick of your comb. Sue me. I probably could because I don't think that's what you meant. Mom, guess what? You don't talk to women like that, especially young women. It was a joke. I was just kidding. My daughter and I came here to shop, not to be harassed by some pig masquerading as a comedian. When you talk to women like that, it's scary. It makes us feel bad. Don't do it again. Mom, can we go now? I am mildly dying. See? This is the problem. You're embarrassed because of what he said. It's so wrong. Seriously, Emma, don't ever let a guy make you feel bad just for being female, okay? Promise. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Toby, you can't just ask Jimmy for dinner every single night, okay? He's your boyfriend. <sighs> yeah, and he's driving me crazy. <sighs> he's totally sweet. He's totally here all the time. Suffocating. You know what? At this point, I'm just about ready to break up with him. See, it goes with everything. Wow, sexy shirt. Em, don't get mad. Please. It's not exactly like JT is Mr. Fashion Forward. Fashion who? Uh, JT, I'll see you in homeroom. Hey, Tobes. Did you master that move I taught you? Uh, almost. Happy birthday. Thanks. We can work on it later. Mm, right. Later. Uh, you know, I've been thinking about what you said last night. You know, about when you're trying to master a really complicated move. Leave it alone for a while. Come back to it later. Yeah. You know, give it a rest. Don't suffocate it. Kind of like with the girls. Tobes, what are you saying? Nothing, nothing. It's just interestingly similar. That's all. No biggie. 
What did Ashley say? Come on, you're my friend. What, what is she feeling, suffocated? Like, like we're together too much? She doesn't want to break up, does she? said anything. JT, Jimmy's like Toby's older brother. He had to tell him. Yeah, but Ashley is his older sister. Sort of. Maybe she's just having a bad day. More like a bad decade. Hey, Sean. Before this decade gets any worse. Come on. Hey, Emma. Sean, what's up? Mm, nothing. Listen, I, uh, I came to apologize about that whole astrology thing. No, it's my fault. I shouldn't have acted like that. Maybe you could do my horoscope on the computer. It could be kind of fun, and we have time before class. Yeah, that'd be great. <gasps> Did you sit in something? What? No, I... You coming? No, what do I do? I don't know. This hasn't happened to me yet. Um, no, I don't think we have time for the horoscopes. So you should go to class now. OK, don't panic. Everything's going to be fine. We'll figure out something. I can't break up with him tonight. Why not? It's his birthday. Uh, Jimmy, hey, uh, we were just, um... Yeah, you don't have to come tonight. What? Jimmy, it's your birthday. Of course I'm coming. Just saying. What exactly? Becoming a woman? And you can get pregnant now. Oh, great. Can we celebrate by finding me a washroom? Yesterday, I thought you were a but It was just BMS. Manny, I can't go to class like this. And we have a book report to do. Do you have a jacket? You could tie it around your waist. I don't have a jacket. It's like summer outside. I know. Your gym shorts. I brought them home to wash. Me too. I'll figure out something. Manny, don't leave me. Hey, Tobes, wait up. Can you remind Mom that I'm at Jimmy's for dinner tonight? Where are you even going? I mean, if you're just going to dump him. Oh, real nice, Toby, listening in on my private conversation. You were three feet away. Ash, Jimmy's amazing. He's nice to you, he's nice to me. He's always around. He's always there in my face. You're being just like our parents. One hint of trouble, and they walk. Toby, my dad's gay. It's not exactly one hint of trouble. Oh, you don't understand anything. You don't bring people into your life just to throw them away. Ooh. Manny, what took you? Uh, wow, little miss saved the world skipping a class. You're not protesting something, are you? Uh-oh, your friend came to visit. And you don't wear light colors when you're getting your period. I didn't know. It's my first time, okay? So just leave me alone. I've got a pad, if you need it. I mean, you could get one from the office, but that's kind of a drag. Ew, imagine. Mr. Radich, can I have a maxi pad? <laughs> Mini, but yeah, totally gross. It's got wings. Man, I am so not ready for this. Hey, you'll get boobs now. Like I want boobs? You might at some point. They're actually really great. But I mean, I like being a kid. You're still a kid. Just 
with a mini pad. Big deal. So I'm not going to turn into... Me? <laughs> Honey, you wish. Emma! What? It's the girls' washroom. Sue me. And so in the end, everyone died and everyone was really sad. Really, really sad. And that's your book report on Pondy Pool Changes Everything. Thank you. It would have been nice to hear your interpretation on the book, boys, instead of a plot synopsis. But at least I have this thing I could read for you. Sorry, Miss Kwan, we had a bit of an emergency. Really? Well, you can give me the details after class, but now, your book report, please. Okay, our book was I Heard the Owl Call My... Gym Shorts? <laughs> yo, yo, Pop Emma's in the house. <laughs> Good one, baby. This book is a bit... Too big for you? <laughs> Metaphorical. Guys, pull yourself together. Do you have a problem? Um, it's okay. We can just... Get... Aww. Did Emmy pee her pants? Aww. No, I just got my period for the first time. Menstruation, you may have heard of it. Happens to owe 50% of the population. Perfectly natural. Nothing to be ashamed of, right, Miss Kwan? Absolutely right, Emma. Now, may we continue? Our book was I Heard the Owl Call My Name. It's a bit metaphorical because it relates it relates the life of a young priest who didn't like owls very much. <laughs> well, what did you ask for? I told my dad I wanted a snowboy. He probably didn't even hear me. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Do not like your family, okay? Ten bucks says she's picking up Chinese. But she left me a message. It's cool, I love Chinese. Is everything okay? Mom just called to tell me that her and dad are working late again. She said I should order myself a pizza. Well, why don't we have your birthday at my house, then? My mom's making wings. Ash, forget it. Look, can we just break up and get this over with? What? You're feeling suffocated, right? Toby told me. Don't listen to what Toby says. He doesn't know anything. So he was wrong? You don't want to break up? Look, can we just forget this? It's your birthday. Oh, I get it. You don't want to break up with me because it's my birthday? What is that, like my birthday present? Jimmy. You want to break up, Ash? Then let's break up. Now, OK? It's over. So go. Get out of here. What are you, deaf? Go. Antonio, it's Jimmy. Yeah, the usual. Meeting pepperoni. Thanks. So, you feeling okay? Oh yeah, Manny, I love being a woman. I don't feel any different. Here you go. But I did have this idea. Like my mom says, never be embarrassed to be female. Paige, do you want to sign my petition to get a tampon dispenser installed in the girls' washroom? Yeah, sure. Hey, Sean, want to sign Emma's petition for tampons? 
Sure. If Emma came up with it, it's got to be a good idea. Jimmy. What do you want? I just wanted to make sure you're all right. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Jimmy, please. Can we talk? I think we talked enough last night. I just think that maybe I overreacted. Um, maybe I didn't mean to call you. Suffocating? Clingy? A suction cup? Jimmy, please. <laughs> You're not just doing this because you feel sorry for me, are you? Of course not. I love you, Ash. Ha <laughs> ha